Hey guys, it's Kerry. Today I'm looking at big cats, mainly Indian leopards and other interesting animals. India is the only place you can see Asiatic lions in their natural habitat. Lions mark their territories by means of scent deposits, necessitating a good sense of smell. This also helps them to find kills made by other predators. Bengal tiger. They are at the top of the food chain and are very important for the ecosystem. They create a trophic cascade where the top animal impacts all the other animals in the food web. If you were to remove tigers from an ecosystem, the rest of the plants and animals suffer as well. With no predator to keep their population in check, prey becomes overpopulated, causing food shortages of plants, grasses and shrubs. The tiger's sense of hearing is the most acute of all its senses and is mainly used for hunting. Their ears are capable of rotating, similar to a radar dish, to detect the origins of various sounds, such as the high frequency sounds produced by prey in the dense forest undergrowth. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Indian Leopard They are impressive, versatile, opportunistic predators and are capable of hunting prey much larger than themselves. The leopard is elusive, solitary and largely nocturnal. When leopards kill a large animal, they use their strong jaws and powerful limbs to drag the kill up into the trees. The female leopard initiates mating. She rubs her head and flank against him, twitching her tail. Conception often requires multiple copulation events. Copulation is brief, averaging about 10 seconds and is repeated many times. During mating, the male will use his paw to hold the female by the back of her neck. It is rather a painful experience for the female due to the barbed end of the male's penis and as a result, there is a lot of biting and clawing as the female lashes out of the male. Roaring follows successful copulation. Pangolin. They have a prehensile tail which provides balance and hold while hanging from the branches of the trees. They have a very long, rod-shaped and sticky tongue. They insert their tongue into the termite tunnels to find a meal. Despite its scaly appearance, this species is a mammal, not a reptile. Marquo. The horns of the males can grow to 160 centimetres. The males have a pungent smell which surpasses that of the domestic goat. Nilgai is the largest antelope in Asia, standing one and a half metres at the shoulder. Males have thicker skin on their head and neck that protects them in fights although they can still have lacerated wounds and even death might occur. Indian peafowl. The male peafowl erects their train to form a shimmering fan in their display to females. The long train feathers of the male develop only after the second year of life. Indian porcupine. Each quill is connected to a muscle at its base, allowing the porcupine to raise its quills when it feels threatened. Asian elephant. Mating is driven by a condition called musk. 
Males become aggressive towards other males and there is increased sexual behaviour. Asian elephants have a temporal skin gland in their temples that is periodically active. During musk, the temporal gland and the testes become extremely enlarged. There is a strong smelling secretion of the temporal gland which the male smears over his face and body using his trunk. Levels of testosterone as well as other hormones are elevated. This increased level of aggression makes them physically fight with each other to compete for mates. They use their tusks in combat and can become injured or be killed during these fights. An elephant's fastest speed is approximately 32 kilometers per hour. They can climb hills easily but are not able to jump. They are very good swimmers and can submerge their whole body leaving only their trunk out of the water. They can spend up to 18 hours a day searching for and eating food. They eat 10% of their body mass daily. The females and offspring live together in a group while the males live in a smaller group or alone. Red panda are an ancient carnivore species and are probably most closely related to skunks, raccoons and weasels. They live in the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. They are highly territorial and live a solitary existence except during the mating season. And are able to descend trees head first. They are roughly the size of a large domestic cat. If a red panda feels threatened or senses danger, they may try to escape by climbing a rock column or tree. If they can no longer flee, they stand on their hind legs to make themselves appear larger and use their sharp claws on their front paws to defend themselves. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.